big adventure right here. Going after them big flatheads. It's going to be an adventure too, let me tell you. gauntlet underneath the Wakarusa Bridge there where the piling's six feet high out of the water. Buffed a few boulders but we got through that one. We're going down the Wakarusa River now. They call it the walkie from an old Indian name, the Wakarusa. What it means I don't know but it's a heck of a nice river. This is the only place where it comes out into the Kansas River. It concludes with the, the Wakarusa and the Kansas. We get down here, there's another gauntlet we got to go through. It's pretty rough. But we'll see if we can get it. But you know, hey, there's no end to a cat man. We'll try anything. We got to get to our holes to catch them big flatheads, blue cats. And that's what we're going to do no matter what, hell or high water. We're coming out of the mouth right now, the Walker Roots are getting ready to go into the mighty Call River, in Kansas. That island between the left and the right there was solid straight through in 93 when that high water come in and cut it like butter, cut a big old swath between there. You can see all the trees where they used to be solid all the way through, bank to bank. Here we go. That went from 20 to 8 feet right there. 5 foot. 3 foot. We're at 2 foot of water right now foot and a half of water right now. 12 feet that way, we was in 22 foot of water a little bit ago. Now it's dropping straight off, just like a cliff. Ooh, yeah, now we're back in the 20 foot hole. No wonder you lost your rod and reel. Billy the blade. My bait landed about right here too, about right where we're at. Laid right in the hole, man. Yeah. Carp just keep jumping. Yep. Well, she's a nice hole wallard out in here. It's a wonder you see a lot more of them V sticks, them old tree limbs, them guys sticking the mud, holding the rod and reels on the corner of these banks. They know this is a good fishing hole, so they'll walk that half mile through them woods. Well, I think we're going to get back over here and Guys, get camp here. Going. <clears throat> Alright, here comes the uh, captain's wife and captain's daughter. Driving their Chevrolet. We're down here at the mouth of the Walker Rusi. Eating deer jerky. Eee, good stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's 
trout line down here on the Kansas River. This is our family camp out for Cat Daddy and crew. We're going to bait them up pretty large here. It's a nice big bait we got from the bait hut over there in Topeka, Kansas off 24 Highway. It's the place where a cat man feels at home, let me tell you. Alright, we're going to bait this up now. Folks, this here is just your uh, easy going trout line, 25 hook. We're running it in a big sloop through here in about 8 to 12 foot of water, like a long ditch, about a quarter mile long. We've caught nice flathead in here three or four years ago. We're going to see if they're still in the river up in this area. We're just kind of moving along here. When you run them big circle out hooks through them little fish like that, you got to be real careful you don't gut shoot them. You got to give them instant death. Flathead don't like that. Got him. Here's the next one. Sure to hang on to him. Don't drop him. That's a nice fish. Keep him. Keep him good on him. He's big. That's a nice fish. Did it turn white? Turn white? Yeah. Go on to it. Because of the. Yeah, hold him back, Billy. He might flop out your hand and lose it. One of those squirmy little rascals, they pop right out of my hand sometimes. How do you get it off video? Oh, turn it Get down here with that one. Just wait a minute. No. Not quite. I think it's kind of red on the top. It's <laughs> yeah. a big one. I had him on the back. Get him on the back. <laughs> that is a big goldfish. Five. These ones are a lot harder to get. This a little deep. This a little deep. Maybe mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. about halfway through baiting up the line. We got 38 drops on it, but you're only allowed 25 hooks in Kansas. So we brought two trout lines this time. We're gonna run this all the way down here to the left. All the way down here to the very end where this big tree is. That's all the way back down here at the back. You see the big dead tree with the yellow cord on it? That's where our tie ends off the other end yep. of the trout line. This is a nice long ditch through here that the river over the years has cut out. 40 feet to the left of this ditch, 
from the bank is probably only three feet right. deep and it comes off the sandbar right over here into this ditch and drops down to about 13 feet deep clear to the bank as you can see we've got real nice brush coverage in here for these flatheads they love backing up living and stuff like this this is a nice nice picture of a nice flathead layer right here all up and down the Kansas River right here along the banks this heavy loose brush it's been there for a long time We've got big root wads in it and them flatheads like to lay up in there and catch them bait fish as they run by now them blue cats like to travel up and down through here too but they like that faster water I'll be surprised if we catch a bunch of blues and a bunch of flats together it'll be something neat to see Kind of like it, huh? Go ahead, let's bring it this way. Like it. Cheyenne, be careful. Watch out, guys. We're in the. You grab that it. fish if you can. How do I grab it? Grab him in his mouth. You be careful. That's a blue. He, he's he's going to bite you hard, Angel. That's a good one. Just lift him on up in the boat. Look at flying everything. Oh, yeah, he's good. Take a nice picture of that one. We're going well, to let him roll. Look out, guys. Uh, hey, Brent, give me that bucket right there, man, with the hooks. You want a picture picture? No, no just. That's what we're looking for. Oh, wait, I got issues. Probably what, a 15 pounder cat? Yeah, Dad, come over here and get it. Did it lose its eye? Here, Brent, will you take a picture too? It lost its eye. I want a picture too, yeah. Here we go, we got a nice. Got a nice blue right here off, off the trout line. He's probably 15, 16 pounds. You can see we got that trout line up here where they don't get tangled up when they got a fish on them. Sometimes they'll wind them up, but that's the way it goes. That's a nice blue right there. We're getting ready to get him, take him, let him go. Video or is it the same video? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Make sure he's got a good hook set, Angela. If not, grab him in his mouth. Is this a little one? She got him?